Hello dear 8th graders, how are you? Let's talk a little bit about our class. Let's understand about what is factoring today, okay? Let's talk a little bit about this, to speak about understanding how we solve this stuff and special how do we understand this important point. Let me a little bit, let me resize myself here so you can see everything. Oh, I'm very little now. Okay, nice. I think it's better. Let's go ahead here, guys. And here, let's talk about this, the warm-up here, just distributing as usual, you know how to do it. And remember, we talked about this before. And what is factoring? Factoring, it is separating a polynomial back into a product, okay? We have our polynomial, we separate back in two expressions that as a product with each other, okay? I will multiply each other and I got a product, the product is the original polynomial okay when the polynomial cannot be factored remember we call this a prime like a prime number okay prime number can be divided but just by itself and number one is the same thing here we talk about the polynomials let's go ahead here guys to the next slide and here to understand this stuff as i told you factoring by a gcf we need to figure out a number that can I divide both polynomials, both terms, so I have the first term and the second one, they can be divided by one, one original here. Like here, as you can see the examples, I have first one, number one, 3x plus 12. I remember the steps, I told you how to do it. Remember the step number one, you need to factorize each term, 3 times x. And 12, I can write 3, 12 as 3 times 2 times 2. What is the common factor here? The GCF, the greatest common factor. The GCF is number 3, as you see here, and 3 here. Great. And here goes to the before the parentheses. Parentheses here, x plus 4. What's the remainder here? x plus 4. Great. Here the same idea, 7y. 7 times 1. When you have the number alone here, you cannot just write 7 times 1. Because 7 times 1 is always 7. And here, 7 goes to the beginning here. Remember, write down the number here, the new coefficient we have over here. 7, parentheses, y minus 1. Great. I think you understand this pattern. Let me solve one example here. I know to solve all, because we don't have enough time, but I try to solve some. Great, the first one here, I would like to work. Mm, let me pick number 12. Number 12, guys, it is pretty easy to understand. What is the factors here? The first term, x times x times y. And the second one, the terms it is 3 times x times y. What is the GCF here, the greatest common factor for both? It is x. Oops x here and x here great and let's write this x on the beginning here we start with the x oops let me just change for pen and orange first okay x here is my factor and inside the parentheses what i have inside the parentheses what is left what is left here xy plus three y's Okay, you can distribute back and you check if it's correct or not, it's true or not. Okay, guys, it's very easy to understand this stuff because here we have the common factor and you will have all the things on the left. Okay, and number 14. Number 14, it is easy to let's write now the first thing all the, the factors here. Start with number two number three number three okay three times three nine two times nine eighteen okay and times a times a times b times c times c oh it's big and another other one 48 48 two times two again times two okay two times two times two it is 8, uh, after that, let me see here, 2 here 24, 2 again 12, 2 again 6, 
two again, three and three here. Woo, big. And after we finish here, two times two, four, four times two, eight, eight times two. It is 16, 16 times three, 48. Nice, now it's correct. And A, I have the variable A, the variable B, and the variable C three times. One, two, three. Ooh, it's big. Let's right now highlight the common factors. Let me see, let's start with number two, as usual. One, number two, great. Number three, I have just one common. Just one number three common, unfortunately. How many A's I have in common? Just one A too, just one A. How many B's? Just one B, just one B. And how many C's? Two C's, okay, C squared. C and C. Okay, let's write the common factors first outside the parentheses. Let me use here orange. Two times three, I know it is six. And A, B, C squared. A, B, C squared. Right now, inside the parentheses, mister, what I have? Okay, inside the parentheses, I have what is left. What is left here, the first term? Three, A, you write what is not highlighted. Three, A, just three, A. Oh, awesome. Minus. And the other one, two times two times two, it is eight. Two times two, four, plus times two, eight. Eight is the coefficient and the variable C, just C. Oh, so easy. Yes, exactly that. And we finish. If you distribute again, you will got it, the original number here. What does it have in 14? Okay, guys, here's the first one. And remember, it's very easy to solve. All the stuff here is that you follow the same idea, okay? The same idea here, you look for the common factor when you have three terms here. Let me pick one, uh, I will pick here number 20, okay? Number 20, I will do this quickly, just for you to understand. 18, guys, 18 here, I can write like two times, uh, not three, times 3 okay 2x okay I have x and x y and z great minus 24 24 I can write like 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and x z z x z z nice and the last one 36 36 I can write like 2 times uh, 18 18 again two here three 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 and y and three z's z z z i have three z's okay highlighted the common factor let me highlight is number two number two number two the common factor for everybody okay guys not just for the first one Number three, do I have? Yes, I have one three here, one three here, and the mother three here. Okay. And X, do I have common X for everybody? No, I don't have a X in the last one. Okay, Y, do I have Y for everybody? Uh, no, I don't have Y for everybody. Okay, Z, yes, Z I have for everybody. Z here, Z here, and Z here. Okay. Let's write now our, first of all, let's write our common factor, GCF. 2 times 3 is 6, 6z. Six just it, mister, yeah, just it. I cannot have any other number. And what do I write inside the parentheses? Open parentheses, what is left? It is 3x square y, the first one, x square y minus 2 times 2, 4, 4xz, 4 x z and the last one plus here two times three it is six six and y z square y z square okay guys we finish over here the first one remember to work on this activity in the homework for day 60 okay guys 
Love you. See you next video. Bye-bye.